And we begin with an update on the person of interest in the kidnapping and homicide of an Atlanta woman. Police say the re he remains in the hospital tonight. He was taken there after troopers say he led police on a chase in Griffin. Joe Ripley shares new video of the aftermath of that chase, and he also shows us how the community is remembering Miriam Abdul Rob. Oh my God, look at the car, I never see the car. Right. Claudian Lemons captured this video showing the aftermath of a police chase in Griffin Friday that ended in a crash. It got smashed in on the side. It's surprising that she even made it out of that. Atlanta police say they were after a murder suspect. Georgia State Patrol and Griffin police were also involved in the chase. And he is now in the ambulance. Troopers say both drivers had to go to the hospital. Police say the 27 year old man who led officers on that chase was still in the hospital at last check, currently facing traffic charges, but they consider the Griffin resident a person of interest in a kidnapping and homicide in southeast Atlanta. Family identified 27 year old Miriam Abdul Rob as the victim kidnapped from her home on Borough Street around five Friday morning. Her body was found hours later, about two miles away just off Lakewood Avenue. She was just so full of life, you know, she was full of life. Um, her energy, her heart, she was just a good, good person. And every time I walked in this bar, it was just the welcome of all welcomes. Miriam worked as a bartender at Reverie and other bars in the area. Surveillance video from Reverie shows Miriam shortly before she was taken, leaving work early Friday morning. Memorials for Miriam popped up overnight at the bar and on Jackson Street Bridge. Family, friends, and co-workers remember her as a loving and genuine person. She was a person with like aspirations and like a person who was loved and who loved. It just really sickens me that somebody took her from all that. No one has been officially charged in Miriam's kidnapping or killing. Police tell us the investigation is still active and ongoing.